Welcome guys! The hotties that we caught, we are gonna show you how to, uh, what do you say, flick? Uh, We're gonna bat butterfly it basically. Butterfly it? Like bride. fillet it? Or? No, no, no just, 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 just butterfly it for a bride. Uh, the meals one's already been scaled. I didn't have somebody to help me say record when I was busy doing mine. So mine is done, hanging. But I'll show you how I do mine for a braai. Uh, just butterflying it and that's the easiest way just to get it on the on the fire, I guess. Oh, well, let's get into it then. So this is um, Joss's bait cooler and we're just gonna, he's gonna show us how he does it and explain it first. All right, Josie, show us okay. what you're doing. So what I normally do is just make myself a slit at the back of the tail. Grab the fish, turn it around. You can take your knife, push it through the head, right through, and work through. And then all the way on the back of the the spine you'll feel it all the way running down you're gonna make sure you have a nice sharp knife for this and run all the way through through the bones Just run through the bones. Nice way to butterfly your fish for a braai. There we go. And that's the guts that we left in? Yeah, that's the guts. Bro. Um, one thing when you do freeze your fish, try to keep your guts in. You can scale it. But keep the guts in, it helps to keep the fish a bit fresher for a longer time and you keep it in the deep freeze. But yeah, this is the easiest way as I've shown. You can see this was a, a female with the eggs. Got some caviar here for you guys. But yeah, and you just start cleaning it out, taking the guts out. And so uh, the sea bream, as they call it, and it's native to our west coast waters it's called a hoti or a hot and tots fish um they kind of um, reproduce fast yeah it's a fast breeding fish but also try to keep to keep to size if you can i don't the size is small i think it's what 20 centimeters I might be mistaken but throw the the younger ones back Hopefully catch a bigger fish. Yes, try to preserve it and do not waste. So what we usually like to do is when uh, we go out, we we like to catch just enough for a nice meal. Um, we do not like catching too much and waste food. So, and we don't want to leave them too long in the freezer and not use it. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit here how Joshy is cleaning them out. No, it's just to get most of the blood out and all the rest of the guts that are in here. And just clean it out, get most of the blood and stuff out. Nice butterfly oti. Mm -hmm. Different ways that you um, fillet your fish. You can fry it like this is for frying. I do mine like this for frying. But filleting is a different way of doing it. Everybody's got a different way of doing it. But I'm very full of shit when it comes to my fish. So I take fillet my fish and I take all the bones out. I don't want to bite into anything <laughs> i'm gonna gag <laughs> okay so another one i'm just gonna record this for now this is the second one 
So, Josie, how, how big do they get? Um, what's the biggest you can expect um, in kilograms, um, weight-wise? Weight-wise, I've caught some big ones already. Mm -hmm. But you do get them up to about, say, 60 centimeters. That's the biggest I've seen. 60 centimeters? That's about, say, almost a 4 kg, 40. That's big. That's big. I've caught bigger. I just don't have the photos to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere on my computer I just can't find it anymore. <laughs> we'll show you what, what he did. So he has a little makeshift line for his wife um, when it's a nice hot day so she can hang the clothes up and Joss decided that hey I'm gonna hang the fish here. She hasn't seen it yet and I don't <laughs> think she's gonna be too happy. But like you can see there's the play thingy for the little girl and <laughs> there's the fish hanging to dry out yeah a little bit rugged just but a drip dry get the most of the water off you proud proud of yourself for what hanging it on my wife i don't tell her about it so she's not mad about it <laughs> <laughs> guys ask your wife before you do it you might get into trouble <laughs> someone's in big trouble tonight anyways so um i'm gonna show you here is the braai, nice fire, I'm just gonna put it on the grid and there we go. Alright, so Joni is making some side dishes. What are you making Joni? We've got some prawn. Mm, 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 it smells prawn delicious. Some garlic and some peppers and then we've got the sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. Mm, mm. With an orange peel that I took out mm. already. Mm. And then we've got the bread going in the one. Can't really see. Bread's baking. And the other bread in the other one. Oh, yeah, he's up. There we go. Yes. And then we've got some salad. Can't forget. Salad, where's the salad? Can't forget the salad. Shaw. Sure. Nice carrots. carrots. Some pineapple. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Yeah. What are you doing, baby? I'm making me a cookie. Hello. A cookie. Hello. A nice little snack. Hi. What's that? Hi. Smoked mussels. Smoked mussels With and some sweet chili cream cheese. Yes, yes. What's that? The salty crack. So this is a nice West Coast um, snack, and um, this is smoked mussel. Put your cream on and have a little mosochi. There we go. Mm. Alright, show us Joni what you've got there. <laughs> Give us a quick explanation of what's going on on the table. Um, we just have your slices of bread that you can dip into your garlic butter sauce with some peppers, yellow and red peppers, with your uh, prawns and there's some for your prawn uh, um, if you have left any skeletons in your closet anyway um, <laughs> some lemons for with your prawns and then we've just got your snack snacks your lovely snacks there we go. that pairs lovely with your smoked mussels mm -hmm. yeah. and what does what, what you've got going on there oh yes to what, top it all off that? a nice montague muscadel white muscadel just to mm. a palate cleanser between the smoked mussels and the prawns Nice little sweet wine. Let me show you some rugged shit. So nobody wants to eat the, the heads of the prawns. Josh is, Josh is that guy. No, I like my heads. Oh, I some. And you eat just like that. Everything, Everything. Huh? Shell and all. Yo. Oh, I can't eat it. Liquor. Liquor. All the good stuff should sit in the head. Yeah, hmm? the <laughs> in the head. <laughs> <laughs> All the good stuff shits in the head. Yeah, it shits in the head. <laughs> you, like a broichi. Look like that. And then, what we do is, mm, mm, mm. we take the butter, the salt, oh, butter. Salted, salted butter? Yeah, salted butter. Mm -hmm. And then, Some 
and then you glaze it. So, what do you have going there, Joni? It's another hearty, just a different way. We're going to put it in the oven with some onion, tomato, spring onion spices, garlic, and then she, cut, she caught the sea cucumber. <laughs> and I, I wrapped her up and now she's going into the oven for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, mm. that's all. To cook thorough. Alrighty. Like a come Let's see. What are we doing here? Oh, we're gonna do three orties or oh, we're gonna, gonna do it on four different ways. Uh -huh. Shown already showed her way. And then I'm gonna do another three but also on different ways. So one I'm gonna do with uh butter, garlic black pepper and some jam we didn't have apricot jam but we got some fig jam just for the sweetness and um, the other one is going to be just normal salt and pepper and then we got another one we're going to do in the leftover of the prawn garlic and chili waki that my wife made chili waki, <laughs> chili waki. <laughs> so we're going to put taste to it so yeah we'll try it this way and then other way and see which one is best. Um, work it in there by the head. Like uh, on the side. Mm. You can already smell that um, pepper on the fish. This is the way I like it. I grew up um, eating stompnesis, um, hotis, kaoyun eating them with a little salt and pepper like a little bit in there by the tail just gonna put you by the pans yes what do you think Josie? Oh, good enough? it's more than enough yeah but I like I said I like my pepper and then maybe what's that guy that he goes like this and then he throws it like that me oh, oh, oh. um I know a lot of people do it different ways. How do you like it? How long? Um, it's for about 25 minutes, 20 minutes at the most. Not too dry. Just have it nice and soft. Nice and soft, 20 minutes aside? Oh, I'll say about 10 minutes aside. 10 minutes aside, 20 minutes overall. Same as Joan putting it in the oven. Keep it Matters all the heat of your coals. Right. Got warm coals, it goes a bit faster, you turn a bit more. Lekker viscous! Mm. Shizzle! Joan, truck, Joan, squeeze her video. Squeeze, squeeze your bread. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Turned over. I wish a guy can put some smell of the video. Beautiful. Sweet pampoon or what? Sweet, sweet potato, potato yes. carrot salad, uh, roaster cake, a nice right. braai hotty. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You look too good. Mm -hmm. Check out dung. Yo. What a plate. Oh, fucking rock. Oh, fucking rock. Oh, fucking rock. Yeah! 